Allison here, and in today's FileMaker tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a layout responsive and how to make good use of the space on the layout so that nothing is wasted. So let's get started. I am looking at a contact list, and uh, we have some basic columns, first name, last name, company, contact type, email, and rep. And we can see that for most of the columns, we can see all of the information. But for the email column, um, some of the information is getting cut off, which may not be a big deal. Um, but it may be that, you know, it would be great if this would, you know, expand if we expanded the window. Oops, sorry. There we go. Expanded. See, we've got all that white space. And it would be great if we could, like, stretch. Um, stretch a field or stretch an object so that we can, you know, make better use of a space. And we can. So let's learn how. We're going to go into Edit Layout. And I am going to just um, click on an object, which is the column uh, label uh, for this list. And we're going to bring over the inspector. And I'm on this um, far left uh, section of the inspector. Uh, which is the ruler, and uh, I'm looking down here to auto sizing. So auto sizing, the anchors right now are on the top and on the left. And if I select on the, uh, the first name uh, field, it's the same for that as well. And if I go through, it's the same for all of these objects. So what I would like to do is make the email uh, stretch so that if we stretch the window the, the label and the field will stretch. So I'm going to click on the label and check the right anchor so that'll make it stretch and I'm going to do the same thing for the email field so that it will stretch. Now I'm just going to exit layout and see how that looks. And so nothing changed because we haven't stretched anything yet but if we stretch the window Ooh, not great. That's looking pretty darn messy. What happened? So let's go back into Edit Layout and realize that for the rep, we said stay left. So what's happening is the email and uh, label and field are sort of stretching over the rep. So in order for this to be clean, we want to go ahead and deselect left and choose right for the rep. We want to do that for the label, and we want to do the same thing for the field um, that happened to be selected as stretch. So we're going to just anchor it to the right. So now that we'll have all of these uh, columns anchored to the left, the rep anchored to the right, and the email will stretch in the middle, which uh, will be more like what we would like to see happen. So we'll exit layout, and sure enough, now when we stretch, the rep is anchored on the right, the email stretches bigger. So uh, in your database, uh, this could be a notes field, for example, or maybe you would want to stretch it out a little bit to see what's going on and then you know bring it back in when it was less important. <clears throat> really terrific way to make good use of the um, space. And I happen to be a person who likes to pay attention to aesthetics because I think our eyes sort of pick up on these things. Uh, and I'm noticing, for example, that this object, the list header here, um, is not moving dynamically uh, either. And that's really easy to make that um, move dynamically as well. So um, if I really wanted to line it up, I could line it up like this and then go ahead on the stretching and say, I want it to stretch also so that it stays um, with the rep field. So that now when I exit layout, um, when I stretch, it's nice and tidy. So I wanted to go ahead and take a look at another example of this in action when we are looking at a detail view. Uh, so we are looking at a contact detail and uh, it's nice and compact. We have a notes field here that if there were more notes we'd have to click in and, and you know scroll to see it. And we've got all of this empty space here so it would be great uh, if we could see more of the web viewer here. And uh, if you would like to know how to include a web viewer uh, in your FileMaker record directly, uh, I'll click a, put a card uh, that you can click on in the upper right-hand corner and include a link in the description uh, so that you can learn how to do that. 
but now that we have it in place, it would be wonderful if when we stretched, it would get bigger. Right now, it just stays there, and so we have all of this wasted space, right? So let's learn how to apply the techniques we just learned to this type of a situation. We'll go into Edit Layout, and the first thing I'll do is click on these uh, two regions, uh, these sort of section uh, regions, and I want them to go down to the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing for this third region, and I want it to go down to the bottom, but I want it also to go stretch over to the right and fill up uh, the screen uh, to the right as much as possible if we stretch. So now let's just take a look at that. So we exit layout, and now when we stretch, our sections move. So that's uh, already an improvement, and you know me, I'm noticing that the header is not uh, moving, so we can tidy that up too. We'll just give this a little quick stretch. There we go. And the other thing that uh, we want to stretch also, of course, is the web viewer itself, because no sense in having the section uh, stretch if the web viewer doesn't. And in the notes section, I want it to stretch also to the bottom. Same thing. I want the field data to extend. So I'm going to go ahead and exit layout. And ah! tricked, we got tricked, we got tricked. Because I also have to stretch the tab, uh, because I have a tab section here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stretch that down and stretch it over to the right as well so it'll fill up the space and exit layout and there we go. There's our big um, uh, blog web viewer and it stretches and the note stretches and everything is nicely aligned. Same as with the list, if things are overlapping, it means you just want to go back over um, and check which ones might be sort of um, not uh, aligned right when they should be, etc. if they're overlapping. But uh, this is a terrific way to get some uh, more use out of your uh, screen. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.